please welcome the Director of Hawaii Tourism Korea, Irene Lee. Aloha. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. I'm Irene Lee, Country Director from Hawaii Tourism Korea. It feels so good to be back, and um, it's especially um, I'm happy to be back, to be uh, invited, uh, because we just went through our RFP, and so happy to be, thank you, thank you. So happy to be invited back. So um, I'll be sharing some exciting market updates and some opportunities. Um, Starting with our team in Korea, here is our core team members. Um, it's been always a women-powered team in Korea. Um, I'm very happy to announce that we finally have uh, men staff in, in our team. <laughs> Young Cho um, just joined us uh, as a strategic director. Um, I'm attending this conference together with Jean, our account director, 100% dedicated for Hawaii and also with Bianca, our new consumer marketing manager, and also another man, uh, Sam Cho, is joining us um, from Korea. Thank you. So, uh, about our market updates. Starting with uh, macroeconomy, um, the Korean economy grew 3% uh, in the first quarter of this year. Um, this, we're projecting 2.4% uh, for the entire this year. Uh, this is exceeding the previous uh, forecast of 1.9%. So um, we are seeing a little improvement in our economy. Um, this economic growth is um, driven by a strong um, exports because Korean market um, depends heavily on um, the, our exports, especially on semiconductors. The inflation rate um, is expected to decelerate um, from 3.6% to 2.6% um, this year. Um, the fuel surcharge is decreased by 33% um, uh, year on year in September uh, for a round trip uh, flights from Korea to Honolulu. Um, but still, the strong U.S. Uh, dollar currency against Korean won is making Hawaii travel packages a little less affordable. As you can see in the graph, um, the Korean market outbound travel um, showed a remarkable uh, rebound in 2023, fueled by the pent-up demand. Last year, uh, about 23 million Koreans traveled overseas, uh, marking a 250% increase uh, from the previous year. And this is about 80% recovery from um, pre-COVID. The growth we're seeing now is even further. Um, during the first half of this year, um, already about um, 14 million Koreans traveled abroad. Uh, this represents a 93% recovery uh, compared to 2019 during the same period. So uh, we expect the Korean outbound uh, travel will fully recover to the pre-pandemic level towards the end of this year. So uh, where do we stand for Hawaii? About 100,000 Korean visitors came to Hawaii from January to July this year. Uh, more interestingly, the visitor, um, total visitor expenditures from January to July this year, uh, it was uh, 248 million. It represents 98% uh, level uh, compared to the same period of 2019. During the same period, the daily visitor, uh, daily spending per visitor um, is actually 15% um, higher than compared to 2019 level. So we do see that Koreans are spending more money now than pre-COVID. Um, this uh, will be my favorite slide. 
Um, so Korean Air and Asian Airlines, um, the merge between the two airlines is nearly completed as eight out of nine required countries have provided uh, approvals about the merger, with US being the only um, or the last country to approve. To obtain US approval, Korean Air will have to transfer its um, air slots of um, the duplicating uh, routes uh, with Asian Airlines uh, to another carrier, and Hawaii is one of them. So um, as the solution to the merger, um, Air Premia is a new carrier um, that has um, risen in the Korean outbound scene. It's a hybrid service carrier between the low-cost low carrier to, uh, and full-service carrier. Um, this uh, airline currently operates five international routes, including LA, New York, San Francisco, Bangkok, and Narita. And um, Air Premia is seeing an average load factor of 86%, so they, their operation is pretty stable. So um, we have direct, fly, direct flights to Honolulu by Korean Air, Asian Airlines, and Hawaiian Airlines. Um, the airline frequency remains unchanged, but an exciting update is that there will be a fourth carrier out of Korea to Honolulu. Um, Air Premia uh, will be launching a new direct service to Honolulu um, in the first half of next year. Thank you. So um, to test the market, they, uh, Air Premia operated seasonal service um, earlier this year to Honolulu, and the test um, operation went very successful. So they are now planning a regular service. Um, Air Premia was planning to fly from mid-January next year, but um, due to the delayed um, delivery of new aircraft, they will have to um, postpone a few months, but um, they are sure to be flying from uh, in the first half. Um, let's see. So to come up with our marketing strategy for the Korean market, we've identified three key uh, market trends or market shifts that we're seeing uh, post-pandemic. Um, the first trend is rest and recharge. The pandemic has led to a um, significant increase in psychological and emotional distress in, in many ways in our lives. As a result, the importance of personal wellness and well-being and health management has become an uh, important social issue in Korea. So as opposed to the traditional um, sightseeing, hitting um, several, uh, many different countries in like one week period, now Koreans are traveling to seek uh, travel experiences that to rejuvenate and to be uh, free, to be away from stressful daily lives. So many are looking for premium destinations that offer tailored wellness experiences. Second, uh, millennials and Gen Zs, um, they view travel as more than just a vacation. It's a meaningful life experience. Um, according to Booking.com, 68% of MZ travelers, um, they consider vacation self as their ideal um, character or ideal version of oneself. So it's like um, when I travel, I want to drive, I want to rent a car that's uh, better than my own car. Um, when I travel, I want to stay at a hotel room that, that's way better than my own room. So we are seeing uh, vacation as, as a better version of ourselves. So this desire to feel like a main character uh, motivates uh, Koreans to seek unique and luxurious um, experiences, um, upgrading our lives in, uh, compared to um, everyday reality. So to achieve a unique and luxurious experience, more Koreans now prefer immersive and longer stays that offer deeper connections with the place that they're visiting for vacation. 
Um, Korean travelers feel rewarded uh, when participating in regenerative tourism activities and return home with a good feeling that they have done something they can be proud of. So among those who chose responsible travel options during their vacation, 92% engaged in activities that allow them to experience local cultures. 93% um, shopped at small businesses. 94% um, used um, walking, biking, or public transportation as a way of um, transportation uh, during their vacation. And all of these contributed to a more enjoyable travel experiences, according to our research. Um, based on these market trends and shifts that we're seeing now in Korea, uh, our strategic goals are um, clear and focused with these four um, goals. Uh, first, to aim, uh, aim to position Hawaii as a unique and irreplaceable destination by highlighting our um, distinct qualities and experiences that Hawaii offers. Um, second, we want to immerse travelers uh, in authentic Hawaiian culture. Um, third, we are committed to promoting regenerative tourism. And lastly, we aim to cultivate meaningful connections. Uh, we want to inspire travelers to engage deeply with Hawaii, creating uh, more memorable and Im impactful um, experiences. So our target audiences um, consist of mindful travelers with high disposable income. Um, particularly in Seoul and um, Busan, Gyeongnam area. We will be targeting uh, mainstreamers, romantic couples, affluent travelers, and FITs and SITs. So our destination branding message consists of two parts. Uh, first, the people, the place, the Hawaiian Islands. Um, this is to align with HTA's global initiative to spread the consistent destination messaging. Um, this uh, is to emphasize what makes Hawaii special and by sharing important values of its people and the place. Second, we'll, we will be pursuing um, your one and only Hawaii in Korea. Um, this is to position Hawaiian Islands as the ultimate premium destination offering high quality unforgettable experiences. I'm gonna skip this. So um, I'd like to introduce three major campaigns for next year. Uh, our first campaign is called The People, The Place, The Hawaiian Islands. It has three pronged approach. Uh, for the people, our objective is to highlight signature Hawaii festivals and events uh, for both the local community and for Korean visitors to engage with each other, um, to deepen the understanding of authentic Hawaiian culture, um, and the place, uh, the second um, approach would be to uh, encourage responsible tourism and mindful practices during their um, vacation. Uh, and for this campaign, we, um, we are planning to organize joint promotions with agencies that support regenerative tourism programs and a trade fam tour, uh, including um, agricultural uh, or volunteerism activities uh, in our FAM itinerary. Uh, on the PR side, um, oh, and for the Hawaiian Islands, our objectives are to enhance brand recognition of Hawaiian Islands um, and to showcase unique characters of each island. And for this program, uh, we this includes our annual Hawaii travel mission. Um, for this year, it's happening in about two weeks in Korea. Um, we will be organizing co-op promotions with airlines and trade partners um, to promote especially the neighbor islands. Um, and uh, lastly, Hawaii uh, specialist program to educate the travel trend, uh, I mean travel trade. So our second campaign is your one and only Hawaii campaign. This is targeting the affluent travelers. Um, our travel trade programs will include a promotion with 
um, agents for long stay packages, the premium packages, and partnership with credit card companies to boost traveler spending, and um, golf promotions uh, surrounding the uh, Lotte LPGA uh, tournaments uh, with key agents. Uh, for romantic couples, our trade programs will include uh, supporting honeymoon uh, exhibitions and fairs in Korea and um, conducting uh, honeymoon fams, romance fams, to showcase undiscovered uh, unique uh, romantic spots in um, uh, Hawaiian Islands. Our last campaign is the Signature Campaign. Um, this is to offer themed um, travel experiences tailored to uh, special interests in Hawaii, um, including activities like uh, hiking, marathons, culinary tours, um, surfing, shopping, etc. for those uh, SITs, um, special interest tours. And for the travel trade, um, our program component includes uh, partnering with travel agencies to develop uh, and promote signature event-themed packages such as um, this uh, run tour It's uh, for the Honolulu Marathon Festival. And our PR and consumer side, we plan to create B2B2C signature travel magazine uh, focused on um, adventure wellness um, of Hawaii and conducting um, different fans on this um, element. And now I have one minute. So um, good, it's the last slide. So um, if you are interested in um, joining our campaigns and programs, um, these are the partnership opportunities. Um, and uh, this is posted on HTA website uh, for you to um, check. And um, as you can see from our um, video that uh, in the beginning, we have done uh, a lot of uh, promotions and programs in Korea during the first uh, eight months um, of this year. And this was all because of your, your support from the industry here. And also, um, thank you, um, Island Chapters, for um, working with us, bearing with us. Um, so, big mahalo, and we look forward to even more exciting um, 2025. Thank you. 감사합니다.